Hey Kyrie, Joey Mistretta with Clutch Points. Um, obviously a difficult loss tonight, and that goes without saying, but I wanted to ask you about the future. You guys have built a great core, you and Luca, a lot of guys around you. How confident are you in this team's future? Uh, very confident. I mean, that's what's, uh, uh, you know, a positive note that we can take from this series, uh, just how far we made it and, um, you know, how, how proud of it I am of the guys and, um, you know, we answered a, a lot of questions this year on, on what we were capable of doing, and uh, now it's just about being consistent. Uh, I think, you know, probably in the last week I said that, you know, I wanted to be remembered as one of the best teams of this era. You know, the last few champions have, have been a new one each, each and every year. So um, I see an opportunity for us to really build our future in a positive manner where, um, you know, this is almost like a regular thing for us, and um, we're competing for championships. And, um you know, that, I think uh, from a spiritual standpoint, I think uh, I enjoyed this journey more than any other season uh, just because of the redemption arc and, and being able to learn as much as I did uh, about myself and my teammates and the organization and the people that I'm around. It's a lot of good people here. So uh, it makes coming to work a lot of fun. And uh, when you have that type of environment, I think, uh, you know, it's easy to achieve goals that are bigger than yourself because everyone's really dialed in and having a, a, a good sense of joy about them. Second row to the left, Tim. Tim Cato, The Athletic, uh, Kyrie, over the past week, Luca has talked about, um, you know, failure being something to learn from, to to grow from. Um, as a as a 12 year veteran or a 32 year old veteran, um, you know, how do you how do you actually take failure and, and take those lessons and grow from them and not just let it become a, a cliche that's kind of set in these situations? Uh, I mean, it starts in the summertime. It starts, you know, early in preseason uh, when you're developing your habits. And uh, I think we went 0-4 in preseason to start, uh, which wasn't the best start. Uh, but we got off to a pretty decent start to the season. And uh, there were some injuries and uh, some uncontrollable things that happened. But uh, I think if you look at the overall big picture, Luke was right, and I've been saying it too, just failure it can inspire you beyond measure. And... Uh, we started off as a fifth seed and then started on the road in every series and we were able to accomplish this and we were able to grow as as teammates and as a brotherhood here, a sisterhood here, uh, where we can really take that as a positive note into the summer. Uh, so, yeah, failing at this stage definitely sucks. It's it's a bitter feeling um, because you want to keep playing and you and you feel like your best game is coming up next and the shots that you shoot next game are coming up and now we got to wait, I think, what, two and a half months, three and a half months to the new champion. Um, you know, gets a chance. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to grow with these guys in this locker room, um, all everybody in, across our organization. Um, you know, we've been able to uh, celebrate our, our wins, but also learn how to celebrate our losses too, and how to grow from that. So that, that's a difficult part of being human when you really love something, you really want to win and it doesn't happen. Um, how do you respond from that? So I think that's where we are now. Um, but I, I think I could tell you um, pretty confidently that we'll, we'll be back in the gym pretty soon and getting ready for next year. On the right, Tim. Tim McMahon, ESPN. Uh, before you checked out for the last time, you know, you go, you hug a lot of the, your old teammates, the other guys on the Celtics. As you're walking back to the bench there, what, what's going through your mind? And you're know, obviously at the end of what was a pretty emotional series for you. Yeah, it, it was it was emotional anyway. I mean, every series was emotional um, just because I was just uncertain on how it was going to go and, and how we were going to respond to a little bit of adversity. Uh, we finally ran into a team where, um, you know, they beat us fair and square and we weren't able to respond to a lot of their runs and we weren't able to uh, execute at a high level. So uh, when I was shaking everybody's hands, that was more of a sign of respect uh, for their journey. They've been through an incredible five-year span of going to game sevens or losing in the finals. Uh, so they, they know what this bitter feeling feels like being up here and answering questions about what this next year hold. And I think they used everything as motivation. Uh, they were healthy and uh, they really kept their head down and weren't paying attention to any of the personal accolades or individual accolades. I think they just came together as a team and were okay with each person being great in their role and um, selflessly putting their best foot forward. So I think we learned uh, more than anything from this series on uh, what it takes to not only get back to this level, but win at this level. And, um, you know, the Celtics are the perfect example for us um, this season because of how much they've had to deal with in the past few years. So it's admirable, you know, and, and to see, uh, did JB win finals MVP? Yeah, that was, that was big time to see that trophy in his hands. I, I think him and JT should have split it, but, um, you know, those two guys in particular have, um, you know, almost been like students and as well now becoming teachers in their own right. So to see them accomplish, see them accomplish that, I'm really proud. 
um, you know, and also extremely motivated to get back to this position in the next few years uh, with my guys and, and be able to win this thing. Mike Curtis. Mike Curtis, Dallas Morning News. Kyrie, you talked about wanting to play well against the Celtics team. Um, you're motivated, obviously, but what, when it comes to how you perform, was it more of them defensively, they were pressuring a lot, or was it you had a lot of shots that went in, came out, those uncharacteristic um, just shots? What do, what do you attribute it to most? I mean, basketball is a game of centimeters, man, sometimes inches. So when a ball is flying off your hand, sometimes it's going to feel good, sometimes it isn't. And uh, yeah, that's the maturity aspect. You got to be able to move on to the next thing. And I've been talking about that. And uh, whether I'm playing well specifically, uh, scoring wise, or I'm not, there's a team aspect here that we're becoming more gelled into or t dialed into. You know, I can score 25 points, but if I don't, then we got to be able to pick each other up. And I think that's what we're learning about each other now, where there are going to be games where the shooting is not going to go well, particularly for me or someone else on the team. And that's where we have to galvanize as a group and other players make plays and opportunities created for one another. Um, I've been at the point of attack through most of my drives going against the Celtics one on one or, um, you know, coming off screen. So uh, that's what the summer is for is just continuing to work on those things that I saw this year, uh, the physicality, being able to adjust to it, and you know, by next year, be in a better position. Howard in the back. Howard back from the ringer. Kyrie, uh, two quick thoughts. Uh, one is just the, this is a, a team that's still pretty new to each other, pieces that just came in, in in February, a lot of youth as well. Is the next step of evolution just simply guys being together longer, gaining that experience, and then, uh, Second kind of separate thought, but you've been through this before, both the loss and, and the win at this level. Luca has not. He seemed pretty down when he was in here. Do you have a sense of what he's going through right now? Yeah, what was your first question? Just it's about about the time together, youth and all oh, yeah, of your yeah. new guys. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, just time together uh, means a lot. And uh, failing together is uh, not the ideal situation. But uh, from a leadership standpoint, going through situations like that, sometimes it, it will it'll motivate you beyond things that you could imagine. And, um, you know, when I was a little bit younger and, and I was injured in 2015 and, I, and we lost, it was a team loss. It wasn't just I was injured and we could have done this or that. So that went on my finals record. I was on one. And then the next year we came back and won in a, in a 3 1 comeback. And then the following year we lost against the Warriors and I haven't been back since. So, um, you know, I look at it as, uh, you know, opportunity for us to observe what we did well this year as a group and how me and Lucan could be better as the leaders of the team, one of, you know, a few of the leaders on the team, and really just enjoy, um, you know, the ups and downs of what's coming because now we know what to expect. So this, this past year was a lot of newness. It was a lot of people being in new positions in terms of just the success. Um, success could be new for a lot of people too, but when you fail um, at the finals, it's, it's not something that uh, you, you want to carry the disappointment forever or on to next season. We worked extremely hard to be one of the final two teams. Um, we didn't achieve our goal, but we achieved most of our goals. So um, this is just the last step that we have to get back to, and we know it's not going to be easy. We're going to go against a lot of young teams that are emerging, um, but we're going to get better as well, and I think this experience will carry us forth um, in, the, in the following series that we play next year. God willing, we make it back to the playoffs and, and get the chance to play our best basketball. Last question, fourth row on the right. Kyrie Tomer Azarli with Clutch Points. Um, you were here when, when, when Jalen started his career here uh, with Tatum as well. Um, w when they're going through, you know, what they're going through, playoff failures and all that, uh, everyone's saying break them up, can they do it? Um, just how have you seen them grow uh, from day one when you were here uh, all the way to, to who they are now? Um, well, they don't really care if one's better than the other, considered, and they, they just want to win. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to get to that point when um, – you know, you have no other choice but to look at your partner or your teammates and say that we're going to do this and, and we're going to accomplish it no matter what anyone says. Um, the hardest thing, I would say one of the m most difficult things, not the hardest thing, but one of the most difficult things in this industry is, um, you know, as I've been in for 12 years, is um, dealing with a lot of the relationship with, um, you know, sort of say social media or fans and media and then us as players and wanting to achieve a, a golden legacy, sort of say. You know, everybody looks at MJ as the prototypical guy. He was six and zero. Then you go down the list of Bill Russell and and you know other great guys that have come through this league. I, I, I can name a myriad of names, but uh, for those guys in particular, uh, I think they have had the same trajectory or career path as some of the greatest to play the game, where they've lost 
early in their career and now they're at the, the top of the mountain because they've earned their way there and they've been able to learn. So again, I'm, I'm nothing short of proud of those guys, um, but I think uh, this was a message to my teammates as well um, that when we get this opportunity, you know, God willing, we get this opportunity again, we work hard. Um, it, it's going to be more than just our talent that's going to get us over the edge. And it's going to be more than just somebody scoring 30. It's going to be more, it's going to take more than just um, scoring. It's going to take everything from you. And, um, you know, that that's what makes this thing beautiful, too, is when you get to the top of that mountain, how do you stay motivated there? And now that they're there, I think those are questions they're going to have to answer for themselves. But for us, we got to the top of the mountain and we failed. So now we have to start at the bottom and uh, that should be inspiring. So um, grateful that I love what I do. Grateful that I get to do it with people that love what they do, too. So um be a long summer, but uh, looking forward to the start of next season now. Thank you, Kyrie.